Hi, and welcome to Dandelion. We are excited that you are exploring geothermal for your home. It is the most efficient and sustainable way to heat and cool. This short video will give you an overview of how geothermal heating and cooling works. In a nutshell, this system works by moving heat from the ground into your home in the winter to warm it up, and then moving heat from your home back into the ground in the summer to cool it down. Because the ground remains a constant 55 degrees Fahrenheit year round, it can both act as a great heat source and also a great heat sink. But before we dive into the details, let's first talk about the major components that make up a geothermal system. There are three of them. First, there's the ground loop that can go as deep as 500 feet into the ground. This is filled with water mixed with a small amount of earth-friendly antifreeze. Second, there's a geothermal heat pump that replaces your furnace and your air conditioner. This heat pump typically goes in the basement, but it might go in your attic, or in some houses it goes in both places, depending on the setup of the house. Lastly, the system uses ductwork to deliver the heated or cooled air throughout the home. We typically use the ductwork that's already in the house, but some homeowners do need to add ductwork when they get their system installed. Now let's get into a little more detail about how the system works. We'll start with summer, when it's hot outside and you wanna keep your house nice and cool. During the summer months, the heat pump takes heat out of the air inside your home and transfers that heat into the water that then circulates through the ground loop. As that now warm water is pumped through the ground loop, it's cooled by the 55 degree ground. In other words, that heat is seeping through the ground loop into the surrounding earth, thereby cooling that water. So now, the now colder water can circulate back to the heat pump, and that heat pump is then able to take even more heat out of your house and put that heat into the water, warming it up again. Then, of course, that warmed water is sent back to the ground loop to cool it down, and you can see the cycle continues until the home reaches the desired temperature. One thing about cooling that many people don't realize is that cold is just the absence of heat. So the heat pump isn't really adding cold to your house, it's more like it's removing heat. It's a lot like the way a fridge in your kitchen works. You plug it in and that fridge will use electricity to cool its inside by pumping heat out into your kitchen. And this makes sense because your fridge is actually a type of heat pump. So now that you understand how your geothermal system does cooling, let's focus on how the geothermal system heats your home. Imagine it's winter and it's really cold outside and you wanna keep your house nice and warm. Well, the ground is still 55 degrees. The heat pump pumps water through the ground loops and that water absorbs heat from the 55 degree ground. This lukewarm water then circulates through the heat pump, which then extracts the heat and concentrates it using what's called a vapor compression refrigeration cycle. I know it sounds complicated, but it's actually the method used in all air conditioners. It allows us to use lukewarm water to produce 100 degree air, which we then can circulate throughout the home until your home reaches the desired temperature you know, 72 degrees or whatever temperature you've set on the thermostat. The best part of all of this is all you have to do is set the temperature on your thermostat. The system will take care of the rest. Now you are a geothermal expert. If you have any questions, write them down and be sure to ask your energy consultant when you meet with them. Thank you for joining us in liberating homes from fossil fuels.